Hey guys, welcome back to Freedom Homestead. I'm Tangie and today is grocery haul day. Um, I know you guys missed the grocery haul from last week. That is because, well, we didn't really have much of one. Um, we had an unexpected ex expense and decided to save our grocery money. Um, and we just bought a couple of essentials. I mean, like literally three things and it wasn't really worth putting uh, up. So, um, but today I went to three different places. Um, I actually ended up going up, uh, going to a different salvage store because the one that I normally shop at is closed on Thursdays, which I completely forgot about when I drove all the way up there. Then I was like, oh yeah, it's Thursday. All right. So I drove 10 more minutes up the road to the next one and, and found some, I found some good deals. Um, not anything to get like super excited about, but um, I'll show you what I got there. Uh, then I headed in the other direction and got uh, and went to Aldi and Meyer. So I am over budget for the week, but not over budget for the month. And that's fine. Um, we looked at what we can spend this week and I still went over. I asked my husband, I said, because we normally spend $50 a week. I said, do you think I can go ahead and spend 60? He said, yeah, you can spend 60. I ended up spending more than that. Let me turn you around, show you what I got and crunch the numbers. So here's the table. That's a pretty nice spread, right? Okay, so we're gonna actually start with the salvage store first. Um, this salvage store actually had fruits and vegetables, or fruits from local farmers. So here they had some beautiful peaches for 99 cents a pound. And so I got eight of those, if you can see that. Um, they had the biggest cantaloupes, look at this. It is a monster. Um, it does have a soft spot, but they all did, but they smell amazing. So I'm gonna cut this today. Um, and it was $2, so I went ahead and picked up one of those. And this particular Amish salvage store also has a deli and a bakery. So I got this loaf of jalapeno and cheese bread. What's not pictured is I also got myself a little um, fried blackberry pie. Uh, it was $1.50, and then I got both the kids a donut, chocolate-covered cream-filled donut that they make there in their bakery. So it's a treat. Anytime we go there, that's kind of a tradition is we get we get one. So um, so yeah, so my pie was $1.50 and then the kids both were 99 cents each. Okay, so back here, they had all of their boxes of taco shells for 25 cents. So there's two with the 12 tacos. And then even this one that had 18 tacos was 25 cents. Um, they had these Annie's Chewy Gradola Bars for 25 cents. See, it says 50, but it was also 25 cents. Um, these Nutri-Grain Bakery Delights for 50 cents. Uh, they had Annie's uh, Chocolate Crackers for 75 cents, so I bought two. They also had Annie's Cheddar Squares, and I bought two of those for 75 cents each. Uh, they had these Chicken Style Consomme um, containers for $1.25. I got two of those. They had ramen for 10 cents. I only got two because honestly, if I bought 10, my son would eat them all in one day. Um, they had this je uh, Simply Jello for 35 cents. This is really good. I like having those on hand. There was some um, Kool-Aid for 10 cents a pouch. I don't normally buy that, but Amanda and I have something special coming up in Frugal Family Food that involves drink mixes, so stay tuned for that. Over here, uh, they had all of these tortillas for 25 cents a pack, so I bought four of them. I've never seen Mario Batali pasta before, but there it was for 75 cents, so I got a box of thin spaghetti, thin bow tie pasta for 75 cents, and then you guys know my rule, I don't buy cereal unless it's a dollar or less, they had these Quaker multi-grain cranberry apple uh, flakes for 75 cents. So I bought two of those. That makes my total at this Amish salvage store $25.18 and I love this. Thank you and may God bless you. 
Then I went to Meyer. They had their bananas on sale for 39 cents a pound, so I grabbed a bunch of those. And they had their chicken on sale for $1.89 a pound. So this one was uh, $7.45. That was all that I bought there. So that made my total $8.51. Okay, now down here we have the old y'all. I got some hamburger buns for 85 cents and I got a loaf of sandwich bread for 85 cents. Uh, a dozen eggs are still 88 cents. I bought one. I bought two pack, two pack, ugh. I bought two envelopes of ranch dressing mix at 49 cents each. I was out of garlic, I guess. I couldn't find it last night. So here's some garlic powder for 99 cents. Uh, bags of tortilla chips are still 89 cents. Whole milk was 98 cents. A uh, bag of sugar for $1.35. These diced tomatoes were 45 cents. Cheese melt was $3.99. This pepper jack cheese was $1.79 and this mozzarella cheese was also $1.79. Uh, steamed broccoli florets are $1.19. Whole kernel of corn is 95 cents. Bag of shredded sharp cheddar cheese was $1.99. These packages of cheese tortellini, I got two of these, and they were $1.49, I believe. Let me double check. Yes, $1.49. Lettuce had gone up. This head of lettuce was 95 cents. This block of cream cheese was 79 cents. Uh, the sour cream was 99 cents. I got two jars of pasta sauce, both at 99 cents each. This ranch dressing is 89 cents. The seasoned french fries were $1.65 and the fish sticks are $2.99. So my total in all at Aldi is $34.03. Okay, so here are the numbers. At the Amish Salvage Store, $25.18. At Meyer, $8.51. At Aldi, $34.03, bringing my total for today to $67.72. Well, so considering the fact that I didn't get groceries last week, I mean, I still did pretty good. We really have gone through our freezer and our pantry, so I really want to start working on building it back up. I'm honestly not thrilled with what I got today, but um, it's a start, and I'm hoping that I do better next week. Um... We'll just have to see what my salvage store that I normally go to has available. Um, so what are we going to have for dinner this okay, week? So here is the menu for the coming week. So today is Thursday. We're going to have creamy twirlingy soup and jalapeno bread. Friday, we're going to have chicken tacos. Saturday, Kentucky chicken and salad. I will throw an I card up in the corner. Um, to my Kentucky chicken recipe. Sunday's gonna be super simple. We're gonna have fish sticks and french fries. Monday, we're gonna have chicken fried chicken steak with gravy, which is just chicken breast that's been cut in half, pounded uh, flat, then you know the rest. Um, so chicken fried chicken steak with gravy, mashed potatoes and corn. Tuesday, we're gonna have chicken spaghetti and salad. And then Wednesday, we're gonna try a coconut curry lentil soup. So what I normally do, when I shop at the salvage store is I will look up how much each item is that I purchased. I will look it up online and see what it retails for. And then I share that information with you along the bottom of the screen. And then at the end, I will do a cost breakdown of how much I spent at the salvage store and how much I saved. But not today. If you've been following us uh, for the past week and on social media, or if you watched our live event, then you've heard that I've been really sick this week, like probably the sickest I have ever been as an adult. And um, I am really like trying to build up my energy. This was my first day out since I've been sick and I am drained. You guys are expecting this video to go up in about 45 minutes, so I'm just going to skip that today and uh, get this video edited and uploaded for you guys. So, sorry about that. I will do it next time for sure, um, but thank you for being understanding, and also thank you all so much for the well wishes. Some of you guys have uh, private messaged me on Facebook, direct messaged me on Instagram, and uh, I just appreciate all the love and the well wishes, but I'm feeling much better. I'm just got to build up my energy, um, you know, get, get my nutrients and everything built up. So anyway, that's all I've got for you guys today. Until next time.